from GM Champ Fam. Good morning. Welcome to my side of the vlog today. It has been way too long since we've recorded anything or shown anything. Bodie has a couple basketball games. I think there's a soccer game today. So we're going to get this started. So a little bit of change of plans today. We got a we got a we got a text and a call from my sister-in-law that um, my my brother something happened where he couldn't feel his arm, he couldn't feel his lips, and he couldn't talk. Uh, my youngest brother, Dallin, and um, so my mom went down there to help with the kids, and and uh, they've been doing some they've been doing some tests and imaging, and it, it looks like he had a couple he had two small strokes. That's not good. He's in his 30s. He's young 30s. He's anyway. So I'm I'm running down to the hospital and it's just so weird. Like he's it's just he's so young and and you just don't you don't think about you know the things that could happen on a day to day basis. You, we just forget how fragile life is. And I, right now I know he's doing okay. Um, he's, my mom said that he's scared, you know, but he's he's got good spirits and he's doing okay. Uh, but it's just one of those reminders. We just, we just can't, we, we can't take life for granted. And even the hard days, you know, the good days, the hard days, we've just got to be thankful for every day because it's just fragile. Life is just fragile. I'm here. I'm not going to record any of this, so just going to go in and see how he's doing. Keep him posted. All right, MTM fan, we have been going crazy all day. We've had games, we've had birthday parties, we've had soccer, we've had dance, and now this is the most exciting thing that's happened today so far, and it is... Scary! <laughs> Put that mat down! Oh my gosh! I can't believe it. So I was in my room, the girls, start, the kids all start going... They're going wild, I'll show you why. This little fella, did it just fly in the house when you came in the door? Yeah. Bodie was outside coming in from a birthday party, comes in the house. Then this little fella it's actually kind of pretty though. came in with him. It is kind of pretty with that reddish it color. Red. It doesn't know what to do. It just flew over here. Open you guys, wait, wait, yeah, open the back door. Ah! It. So we're just kind of trying to like shoo it in the direction of a door, but it's it's. It's always scary when it's close to that. Little bird, go outside. No, no, no. Yes, guys, it's getting closer. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. It's so close to me now. It's right by the door. Come on, little bird. Oh, the bird is so dumb. It keeps being right by the exit and not being able to make it out. Come on! He's out? Yeah! Did it just fly out or did you use the broom? No, we, we, we were like, yeah. Good job, you guys. Murphy, did your friend just leave? You're so sad. He went, That was the most excitement you've had all day. He's like, oh, He's I so like excited. <laughs> Have you ever had a bird get fly into your house before? For like 40 minutes. It wasn't 40 minutes, but that was... That was kind of a long time. I would have thought it would have been a little bit more easy escape, but it, but it wasn't. Well, 
He's doing good. Just about to leave the hospital and head home. And by good, I guess I just mean he's he's recovering and and um, it was a mild stroke. Uh, <laughs> they don't know yet. They ran a bunch of tests and they're gonna give him the, the results tomorrow as to why they think he even had it. They said it's it's more than likely has something to do with his heart. Um, just because he's, he's 32 years old, uh, this doesn't typically happen at that age. So we'll know more about it tomorrow, but he's doing well. He's, he's resting now and uh, just that's all he really can do. And um, he got really tired there. So I figured now is probably the best time to go home and get back to the family. But again, we just, he, all he was doing was just playing with the kids and just a completely normal day. None of us ever expect things like this to happen. So we just need to be thankful for the time and for the time with the people that we love. Just let me take you to a better place. Today was a wild, like, I don't know. We were like, okay, hey, we're vlogging today. We get up, Derek heads to Bodie's games and I was taking the girls to their activities and games and stuff like that. And, and then Derek gets- Got the message, got the notification that my brother was going to the hospital. And um, all we knew at the time that he, he, he couldn't talk and he couldn't feel his arm. Mm -hmm. So we didn't know what it was. So we, he and I were talking on the phone. We're like, is he having a stroke? And Derek said, you know, that's kind of what it sounds like. But obviously we were hoping that wasn't true because it's so weird because he's such a young guy. And then he gets to the hospital and things, you know, they're working on him. And basically that is what had happened. So that sort of just like set the whole day kind of in a funk because you're just full of worry and concern for you know, your family. And then not only him, it's like his wife and their kids and they have beautiful kids, three young, young kids. They have a little boy that's just a, a tiny bit younger than Jensen. And they have a just as cute and just as crazy yeah. as ours. And then a two year old and a four month old baby. And so to add such a unknown layer with so much fear was just, I was just, my heart was really like, just really broken for them and feeling really somber all day. But the bird got us right out of the funk and decided, the bird entered the house and decided that it was gonna-, gonna Lighten things up? Lighten things up. Shake it which up a little bit. was a little bit needed, right? Yeah, it, and it's not that it was like a, a, a depressing day by any means. It was just, if anything, it, it was scary. You go through all the emotions. Mm -hmm. the, you know, you're scared. That so the fear, and and you're sad, and you, you get emotional, and and especially when you don't know exactly what's going on. And then as he's telling me the story, when I get yeah. to the hospital, because they had to transfer him to a different hospital that has a better neurology department. And so as he's telling me the story, he's emotional, and they're emotional, and and I'm never emotional. I never, never, cry. never. He never cries. And. Um, you know, but then you also, as as you see, things are going to be okay. We're going to get all. It's also a relief should. too. Yeah. So then you feel the relief, and and you know we'll find out more tomorrow as far as the test and everything is concerned. But then, but then it's also more than anything to to end to end this um, with kind of the the thought of the night is is just gratitude. Mm -hmm. So for example, I was I was exhausted. You know, but I could see that Bree and the kids were having fun, and and one side of me was like, "No, we just need to go to bed, guys. I'm toast." But then I just saw how much fun they were having, and and you were having, and I thought, "Wait, no. Let's enjoy this moment. Mm -hmm. This is okay. Let's. You you only get so many of these, mm -hmm. and you never know when things are going to change. And we've obviously 
experience those moments, but it's just like so crazy how you just kind of get back into life and you get back like taking care of the daily tasks, you know, because that is, you have to manage life. You can't just every single day be like, I'm gonna live like it's my last day. We can't do that. So you always have these, these, it's always a balancing act, you know, and then sometimes there are these moments that just remind you like, hug your people, be a little bit more patient, be a little bit more present and um, enjoy the time that you have. And so it was a lot of, it was a roller coaster of feelings today, that's for sure. But we still don't quite have a ton, we don't have a ton of information about what's happening with his brother. So we really can't provide a lot of information because they just don't really know. Hopefully they'll be getting some of the tests back that will give us a few more answers, um, but that will be tomorrow. And potentially I'll be heading down there to spend some time with their cute kids and just, um, just help out where we can. So uh, it's nice to be on the end of the experience where we can, where we can, where help. we can help, and because so you know Derek's family has supported us, and so his siblings and their wives and everyone has supported us so much. Whenever we've needed anything, it's nice to be able to return the favor. Not that I want to be, them to be in a situation where we have to, but I'm. Thankful to be able to be there for him. Each one help one. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we are going to get some rest. It's been, uh, and you know, those days that are, it's been a long day for one, but then also emotional. And I feel like between the two of those things, you just really need to get some sleep. Uh, amen to that. So thanks for hanging out with us today. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Good night. Bye.